365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each year. You've Got Mail from God by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Let's see what God has in store for you today. It's so good to have you join us today on May 22, 2022. Today's title is At Peace with the Enemy. Before we start, let's have a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for the mercy you've shown us. Thank you, God, because you are involved in our lives and you look down on us from heaven. Please, God, reach us and touch our hearts today with this message. In the name of Jesus, amen. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Proverbs 16.7 Everyone in the neighborhood was dismayed. They couldn't understand who had thought of opening a brothel in a residential area. It was hard to put up with the music, drunkenness, fights, laughter, and scandals. Only the employees seemed happy with their faces painted a thousand colors, their tiny dresses, and adorned with all kinds of jewelry. When they were drinking alcohol, those women bragged about having slept with all the men in the neighborhood. However, they knew it wasn't all the men. They knew there was one who didn't even look at them. When the property owner heard her employees speaking wonderful things about the neighbor across the street, she decided to watch them carefully. By spying on them, she discovered that the wife has something she had never received. Love, true and pure love. So she felt envious and decided to steal that love by using all the means necessary to achieve it. One day, Anna, a faithful Christian like her husband, found a note under the, her door. Your man belongs to me, disappear, cursed witch. The incident turned into a habit. The woman at the bar, instructed by their boss, insulted her. They played the music at full volume and directed the speakers toward her house day and night. They made a scene and yelled at her that her husband had been with them. Finally, Anna's health succumbed. Her husband asked their church for help, and together they began to pray and fast. One night, in the middle of a brawl, the bar owner was shot. No one wanted to help her. Only Anna and her husband offered to take her to the hospital. They prayed with her before she went into surgery and took care of her while she was hospitalized. When she was discharged, they brought her into their home and cared for her until she recovered. One day, that tough woman begged to be forgiven for everything she had done against them. During her con convalescence, Anna studied the Bible with her, and the woman accepted Jesus as her personal Savior. When she recovered, she closed the bar and was baptized. As the wise man rightly said in today's verse, When our ways please God, He makes even our enemies be at peace with us. Today, God invites you. Is there an adversary who makes your life more difficult? Don't worry. Just have faith and keep living for me.